for any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check out G2A.com. And if you need any Ultimate Team coins, then head over to you, FIFA. The code CHEZ will get you a discount on both sites, and all links are down below. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 26 of the Liverpool career mode here on FIFA 15. We start today with a trip to South Wales. It's Swansea away. The conditions aren't the best, but similarly, they're not necessarily the worst. It would be a lot worse playing in snow, actually. But we currently sit level on points with Swansea, only above them on goal difference alone. However, should we win this game, we'll actually jump two places up to fourth. So, uh, up to fifth, actually, I think it was, to, uh, to actually just sit right behind Manchester City. So, uh, hoping that we'll be able to get a good result here, although obviously they're a very good side. Got a new signing in there as well in uh, Salihovic. The Bosnians sat there in the midfield behind Boney, and uh, of course they've got baby Jefferson Montero out wide as well, so pace in their side. I don't have the strongest of 11s out right now because on the uh, the following Tuesday after this Saturday game, we've got the uh, the quarterfinals of the Champions League, so I, was, I didn't rotate the full side, but there are less first team players in this side than there will be in the game on Tuesday, put it that way. But uh, we have the, uh, the first shot of the game through Steven Gerrard there and we actually we're going to dominate the opening few minutes Lalana getting the the ball eventually to Balotelli and getting it back again before his shot is unfortunately really well blocked by uh, is it Ben Taylor I believe the left back uh, I think so for, uh, for Swansea and then again we're on the attack 25 minutes in Douglas Costa shows great fit to get round the outside the defenders even better with the uh, McGeady spin inside the box great drilled shot but it's straight at Tremble the goalkeeper and unfortunately we stay at 0-0 just before the half hour mark then it was time for Swansea to come forward and have their first attack of the entire game in the 36th last 37th minute. Leon Britton finds Boney who's lost his man and he finds the bottom corner. So Swansea have one shot and they have one goal to this particular point in the uh, in the game. So that kind of really wicked me off. So uh, we were going to continue to dominate the second half. Lalana is going to play the ball into Balotelli here. They linked up really well Lalana and uh, and, uh, and Ballo in this game. Fernando with this shot eventually though but again a good save from Tremel to keep us out and we aren't able to get ourselves back level just after the restart of the uh, the second half. Then Swansea we're going to have their second shot of the game. Leon Britton gets it out wide to uh, Wilfred Boney again. Good turn from him. Squeezes it through the through the gap and uh, there's Salahovic with Swansea's second shot and second goal of course into that top right hand corner. Really top finish but again I was pretty wicked off of the fact that they really had two chances scored them both and we were having chances left right and centre and hadn't scored Balotelli gets in behind another top save by Gerhard Tremel and Swansea eventually clear it and stop it from going out for a corner as well so we're still 2-0 down great tackle by Fernando there even better through ball to slot it through for Mario Balotelli surely it's just a case of turning inside and then putting it in the bottom corner no another top save by Tremel how many times has Balotelli turned inside like that this season and finished the ball into the back of the net so disappointed but Gerard wins the corner in it comes Lalana wins the header gets uh, knocked back down to Balotelli into Rudiger into Fernando on the edge of the box gives it a crack and Tremel makes another good save and they hoof it away and it goes out for throw in still 10 minutes to go though definitely time to get ourselves back in it Lalana out to Raheem Sterling who's just come onto the pitch he plays the ball out to uh, to Alexandro he's going to get it back into Lalana lovely little foot bit of footwork and the shot is well blocked and unfortunately it rebounds over the top of the goal and out for a corner not into that top corner, Lalana though plays ball up to Douglas Costa, we're still not done lovely turn inside, great feet, he's going to have a good shot and that is possibly the best save of the lot so far, Gerhard Tremel with a really strong right hand up to his top right hand side to keep us out so far again, but throw into Lalana, bit of a weird first touch but Gerard recovers the loose ball into Fernando doesn't quite get the best of uh, the controls on it, but then Gerard hits the outside of the post with his shot once Fernando gets it back to him. But the ball still isn't away for, uh, for uh, I almost call them Southampton, then for Swansea. Lalana with this shot, and that was just a couple of inches wide. We lose the game 2 0, but. Uh, uh, it's one of the most one-sided games I've seen in career mode so far this season here at Liverpool. And uh, we just did not have the luck on our side. You'll see the stats on your screen right now. In fact, the bony goal that they got in the first half didn't even go down as a shot. It just genuinely didn't register at half time they apparently had no shots and no shots on target yet were one nil up we had 10 shots seven on target all of which tremel was able to save so we headed into the next game against psg away from home at the park to princess and uh, i wasn't necessarily in the best of moods heading into this one but we have to be at our best performing wise on the pitch because obviously paris Saint-Germain have the talent to uh, to put us to the sword should they wish to do so got uh, salvatore sirigu in goal a really strong 
back line of uh, Serge Aurier, Thiago Silva obviously and David Luiz alongside him with Maxwell out there at left back. Goodbye Matuidi and Motta in the midfield with of course Lucas, Ezequiel Avetsi and Ibrahimovic up top. My team was stronger than the one against Swansea but still a couple of rotation players in there as you can see Dejan Lovren in at centre back rather than uh, rather than Mamadou Sacco not rather than Mamadou Sacco rather than uh, Inigo Martinez who was uh, dropped to the bench for this one and Emre Chan in there at centre mid rather than uh, of course Steven Gerrard who played against Swansea. So uh, Hesse out wide on the left hand side as well but it was actually Emre Chan into Coutinho here for the first chance of the game inside three minutes well unfortunately he can't quite find his range and uh, the what shot does go just wide but we're still on top in the opening five minutes ball into Daniel Sturridge's feet he just walks around Thiago Silva great pace to get away gets the shot off but Salvatore Sirigu saves it with his feet and uh, they do get the ball away but still inside the first ten minutes throw into Emre Tan. he's going to get it all the way through the middle towards Felipe Coutinho tries to finish shot but this one unfortunately was a little bit too central still he's trying to fight his angles one shot wide one shot on target hopefully the next one will be into the back of the net Coutinho was involved again into Sturridge he uh, is actually going to get the ball out wide to Markovic and then it's going to be drilled across Coutinho does get it on target again but this time Sirigu with an even better save to keep out that wonderful first time volley and that was the amount of chances we had in the first 15 minutes then Emre Tan gets the the ball off as a qual of Etsy here he I'm not sure whether that was a purposeful challenge or whether it was like, like you know when you lose control but you've already pressed the uh, the lob through ball button and uh, Levetsi dived in and actually got himself sent off I don't think that was anywhere near a red card challenge Chan tackles him Levetsi immediately slides trying to get the ball there's no malice it's one footed not two and he's not you know lunged in but the referee gave him a red card. So that really swung things in our favour, even more so than they had been before. We had four chances, they had nothing, and then they got a man sent off. So surely it was only a matter of time before we got ourselves in front. Daniel Sturridge turns inside and just overruns it slightly. Couldn't quite get the shot off before the defender came across to, uh, to put a foot in, and the, uh, the chance goes amiss. But we're still on the front foot. Emre Chan pushing into the box, goes on a lovely little run. Eventually does find himself inside the 18-yard box, but Salvatore Sirigu comes up with another big save so into the second half we go literally just after the break Matuidi's going to actually lose out here to Danilo great tackle they pushed loads of men forward not really too sure why considering it was a striker that got sent off but Sturridge is in behind racing away just tries to place it in the far bottom corner but gets it wide I could not believe he wasn't quite able to get that into the back of the net we still haven't scored in this game Morgan Schneidlin finds Coutinho lovely step over there to get around uh, David Luiz good shot and somehow Sirigu gets it's another world-class saving, but this particular highlight isn't finished yet. We've got the corner to come. Coutinho whips it in. Sturridge goes up for the header, but the uh, the defender gets it away. Drops to Alberto Moreno. He's going to have the shot that's going to be well saved by Sirigu. We pick up another corner, trying to get ourselves an away goal in this first leg of the quarter-final in the Champions League. Corner comes in. Up goes Morgan Schneidlin, and over the top of the bar it goes. The chance goes begging. So I made a couple of changes, bringing on Mario Balotelli and Adam Lallana for Sturridge and Coutinho so a brand new fresh front two could they prove the difference in this one to get us the away goal we so desperately need and clearly deserve Emre Chan out to Markovic great first touch with the Ronaldo top just drives around the outside the defence and then plays it out to Danilo who stands it up up goes Adam Lallana with a header but over the top of the bar goes the ball another one goes missing still 10 minutes so to get ourselves in front if we possibly can from the resulting goal kick Emre Chan gets it out wide to uh, Raheem Sterling slots through Mario Balotelli we've seen him plenty of times this season turn inside and then just finesse that bottom corner but Sirigu again <laughs> comes out makes the save and they scramble it clear we're down to the last four minutes now Ibra with a terrible pass out Balotelli picks up a bit into Markovic big switch out wide to Raheem Sterling but there's Adam Lallana down the line this time the turn inside and the finesse finish Oh, the relief, the absolute sheer relief at the fact we finally got a goal. I could not believe it took so long. Question was, could we kill the tie off and get a second away goal before full time? Of course, away goals count double. Should we uh, draw overall after the two legs? Raheem Sterling with loads of space, blocked by Aurier. He can't get it away. Eventually, it falls to Markovic here. He's going to drop into the box with a lovely step over and a shot himself. And Sirigu again makes the save with his legs and they scramble it clear the 1-0 final scoreline thanks to Adam Lallana's 88th minute goal is just unbelievable look at those stats 15 shots 12 on target all of which were very very good chances as well and only the one goal 
I just could not believe we hadn't completely put that tie to bed. We could quite possibly have had three or four clear away goals to go into the second leg with. But, oh, just the sheer disappointment. I couldn't bring myself to play another game after all of the chances against Swansea and no goals and twice as many chances against PSG and one goal. I could not bring myself to go and play Arsenal for the next game. So that will come in tomorrow's episode along with the second leg against PSG. That defeat against Swansea, rather than winning it and going up into fourth, they've gone in, up into fourth and we've dropped to tenth. But we do have a game in hand on three of the sides above us and can go back up to sixth should we win our game in hand, which is, of course, going to be the aim. Ten, no, nine games left for us now in the Barclays Premier League this season. The Champions League spots still up for grabs and we're still in the competition as a whole as well. So even if we don't finish in the European spot, similar to how Chelsea did it back in 2012, we can finish outside the European positions and still enter next year's competition by winning it this year. We'll have to wait and see what happens. So we have to get past that second leg against PSG, which, like I say, will come tomorrow. But that will bring today's episode so to a close guys thank you very much for watching drop the video a like if you enjoyed and of course subscribe if you haven't already there will be a my player episode later on tonight for you to enjoy i won't be streaming tonight though because of course it's the chelsea liverpool game on tv and that will most definitely be taking uh, my attention so uh, we'll be streaming again tomorrow though so definitely check my links in the description to twitch and twitter to make sure you know when i go live and of course there are links in the description as well to my other social media and of course to g2a and ufifa as well should you want any ultimate team coins or xbox slash PSN codes or place or PC games. Oh, anyway, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? Getting all that out of the way. Shameless promotion for the win. But that will bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.